And it's not just a physical thing. It's a mental thing because our predecessors knew how to survive in spite of all that stuff. And in it, we have created the only genres of music that the American society has produced. All American music that comes from this country has come from us. Everything else, jazz came from us, gospel came from us, rap came from us, blues came from us. Anything else that's American came from Europe. We have produced, we brought food to this country and taught them how to grow it because they didn't know how to grow it. It was our brilliance that did that. So the greatness is in us. We just need to wake it up. So when I say, where am I from? I'm from those who survived the most unfathomable. We're talking about 500 years. They're not talking about like 40 years, 30, 500 years. And we still are still doing what we do. We still are making it happen. We still are becoming vice presidents and presidents and, and heads of corporations and still running households. We fathering our kids from across town when they won't even let us go see our kids and when they taking our kids away from us and not giving us visitation and we still sending them money and cash apping them and, and meeting them on the corner. And we, we have figured out how to be great. We just need to acknowledge that greatness. So that's the fourth question. And the last question, is where am I going? What you gonna do with all that greatness? Where are you going in life? What's your plan for success? My brother Robert just went like this, I'm going up, I'm going up. But what does up look like? Visualize that. I'm gonna own a house. I'm gonna own several businesses. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have income coming in from different sources. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be in the house with my children. My children will be honored to see me. I'm going to have good relationships with my women, right? The women in my life, whether I got, you know, I was in fathers and when I do father programs and say, how many children do you have and how many mothers are associated with those children? Because you have four kids and three babies' mamas or a few mothers of your children is not the same as a brother has four kids and one mother. It's just a different relationship. So you got to have a different type of skill set to deal with that. Where are you going? When we have our reunion in 10 years, right, Brother Derek? Where, you, where will you be when we get on that Zoom call and say, hey, where am I? In fact, Brother Mike, next year, same time, same time, just schedule me to come in and I'm going to ask, so where we at now, right? <laughs> right? Where are we? What's your plan for this year? And not just the goal, but the plan to make that goal a reality. Every day, get up to do something. I heard T.D. Jake say this once and it just, it just changed my mornings, you know? You wake up in the morning, I see yo, she gonna wake up. You know, you kind of rub the foot, see you, you know, whatever. She don't get no feedback, you just get up and get out of bed, cause you know, whatever, you know? It ain't gonna happen this morning, whatever, you know? Yeah, Derek know what I'm talking about, he's laughing, you know what I'm saying? Just, ain't gonna happen this morning, so you just get up. And, and it's, I, but DJ, and I'm, you're gonna be transparent. I'm not the morning person, I'm the night person. I wanna do it, get it done. <laughs> so, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, let, let, let me get my nasty stuff. I don't wanna be racist, so I'm like, damn, I'm right. ready for the, the bus, right? I take my time doing what I gotta do. But anyway, but you know, but the, the thing about that is, is when you got stuff to do, you don't have time. Everybody's like, yo, you see this on Netflix? No, mm -mm. ain't no time to be watching Netflix. I gotta schedule <laughs> Netflix. Right? I got a scheduled time to watch stuff on Netflix with the family. Other than that, I got stuff to do. I haven't written a book yet. Why not? I got to write a book. Right? Right? I got stuff to do. What are the things that you got to do to get your greatness going forward? So where are you going? That's the question. And what I love to see is when brothers start putting stuff in the feed about stuff they're doing and taking them to a new place and going to a new level. And I'll say this to you so you understand, you have achieved a goal when the challenges you face are different than the challenges you had before. That's how you know you've elevated. You got a different set of problems that you got to deal with, right? When you ain't had no money, your problem was getting money. Then you got money, got to figure out what to do with money. Then when you figure out what to do with money, you got to figure out how to track the money, right? <laughs> it's like a different challenge every stage. If you got the same problem today that you had three years ago, then we need to do something different. 
because you're not going to where you want to go. So those are the five questions of the human heart. Who am I? Which is a question of origin. I mean, a question of identity. Why am I, uh, uh, why am I here? Which is a question of purpose. What can I do? Which is a question of potential. Where am I from? Which is a question of origins. And where am I going? Which is a question of of direction, of destiny, right? So I would say iPod. If you think about the iPod, I-P-P-O-D, iPod. Identity, origins, I mean, identity, purpose, potential, origins, and destiny. Those are the five questions. And when we answer those questions, we're gonna rock this world, man. We're gonna do it up. We're gonna make it happen. And he let life circumstances overwhelm him. What we don't always recognize is that the highest number of suicides in this country are men between the ages of 40 and 55. And so any of you, if you ever feel like it's getting too much, say something. We're here. I, I wave my hand. I'm here. Reach out. Reach out and say, bro, it's hard. And we will tell you, yeah, it is. But you got the strength to make it. Because we've been there. We've Maybe. been there. And we're willing to come alongside you and, to exactly speak, right. and speak to your spirit and speak to your soul. Um, I just feel that maybe um, someone might have a comment to ask Donald or just want to say something because, like I said before, a lot of gems were dropped. Um, we usually hear from Brother Carlton. You have something takeaway that you want to share? Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, you right? everyone. <laughs> I, 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 I will. Um, so uh, I will say I did something this week that was kind of from um, Elder Donald's um, presentation last week, and it kind of had something to do with one of the questions about, um, I think, where am I from and speaking about the tribe. So I did something this past Friday, and most people do these things called vision walls. Mm -hmm. And so I did something called a people wall. And so what I did was, I didn't call anyone a friend. I just kind of created something. And I said, active people in my life, questionable people, and you know better. So <laughs> kind of one of those things where your heart, has to, your, your heart has to catch up with your head. Your head knows better, but your heart is saying, but they're good people. And so I kind of did that. And I really did a focus over the weekend on that. And I kind of focused on the active because sometimes we forget about those people that really have our hearts and we have their hearts. So I kind of did that. And I guess that kind of helped me with a little bit of the where I'm from, because it made me reach back to those people that when we talk, when we hear each other's voices, it really makes us feel good. And we speak to each other's spirits. And as I think it's Elder Barry said earlier, sometimes you have to encourage yourself and I have to be around those people that will encourage me. And so that's what um, <clears throat> was a part of that active uh, moment, of the active friends. So that was my takeaway last week. And so it was good to hear you say that. And oh, and a transparent thing, I will share this with you. I apologize, you guys, I keep my camera off. It is very difficult for me to see and be on this camera. This is uncomfortable. Even though I am a singer at church and I can sing in front of thousands of people, this is uncomfortable for me. So I apologize for having my camera off, but it just feels weird. So I, I apologize. I'm going to grow. I'm not broken. I'm but you're grow. handsome, though. You're handsome, though. You want to want to see you. I'm handsomely uncomfortable. <laughs> handsomely uncomfortable. Okay. All right. Listen, it, you know, it was uncomfortable when 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 you're great and when you're around mediocre people. Sometimes you feel uncomfortable but you get comfortable with being comfortable, right? I know when you open up your mouth and sing sometimes, you know, people are like, woo, you feel uncomfortable, you get clapping and crap, but you're used to being uncomfortable. Brother Donald, no matter where you are in life, is you always just feel that it's not enough. So even as I sit here and I look um, across this, 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 this Zoom, uh, I see greatness. I see greatness. Um, maybe you're not where you feel like you should be right now, but you're on the right path. You're on the right path. So I see greatness all across. I, sometimes I don't even feel like I'm worthy to sit amongst you because I see strength. I see greatness. I, I see success. 
I, I tell people, don't trust your feelings. Your feelings will flee you any moment. You wake up, you're hungry. You eat something, you're not hungry no more. Sometimes you're cold, sometimes you're warm. Sometimes yeah. you're horny, sometimes you're not. Don't trust your feelings. Go with what you know. All right, so um, Lee? Hey, I'm sorry. I, um, oh, yeah, um, please. Real quick, I'm sorry. I've, I've been... I've been I've been all, all, all on and off again. I've been um, trying to make uh, quite a few changes this year, and this 2022 has been uh, actually um, amazingly uh, productive so far. And um, I've I found the need to uh, uh, cut ties with a lot of um, uh, people and, and things I was doing professionally and 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 personally to try and get focused and, and get myself. Um, uh, back on the path that I need to be on and focus more on my family, myself, my, myself. And it's been so far, there's been an incredibly good and strong year. And I feel like I'm on the right path. Things are going well. I'm spending more time with the kids and things uh, professionally have been going. Uh, it's just like, you know, we, when you, when you're doing the right things, um, uh, things will come to come your way when you, when you are on the right path. Uh, so I'm doing a lot more things in the school. I'm doing a lot more, I'm being a lot more active with, the, bo the boys in the school, I'm doing more co coaching as well. Uh, so I've been uh, I've been doing a lot less busy work and doing a lot more focus uh, on myself and my family and my kids. And I'm happy to see that. And I think the presentation helped me also get um, uh, in, 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 in listening to the questions and answering the questions for myself. I feel and I'm in a I feel like I'm in a good place. I'm uh, for, 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 you know I, Donald. I, we we haven't really spoken. Um, Clem, I'm I'm 56 years old. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn, born and raised in Brooklyn. Been in Brooklyn my whole life. So you being up in the uptown, we kept, we probably got a little beef, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> my best uh, friends in know, bed style, so I got no hate on Brooklyn. I love Brooklyn. Yeah, but BK and BK and BX never really, you know, we never really rock like that. But anyway, <laughs> uh, long story short, I have I I'm, I'm in a similar situation as you. I have a 32 year old daughter and a three year old daughter, <laughs> so, and my, my my two sons are 28 and 10. The one who was just over here with me. Uh, so um, uh, it's my second marriage, and I get along with with my former wife. My, my, actually, my former wife still carries my last name, <laughs> which <laughs> we used to annoy me, annoy the hell out of me. But we're we're good now, and um, things are going really well. I got a few things coming up at the school I wanted to share with you, brother. I tried to share it earlier in the chat, but I was having some technical issues. But I have a couple of um, uh, mentoring uh, potential mentoring po uh, possibilities. I'd like to involve you brothers with if, if you're available. And um, that's it. I just want to say thank you for the presentation and th thank you for the energy because I love I love being a, 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 a amongst positive positive energy because uh, it, it helps helps fuel me and keep me um, engaged. <laughs> so. Thank and thank all of you, brothers. I, I appreciate the camaraderie. I, I appreciate all of the, uh, all all everything that you guys bring to the table. It just helps me stay focused. And even though, even if I'm not here, I stay. I keep abreast of the WhatsApp chat. What's that chat? WhatsApp chat. Uh, you know, I, uh, Uncle Mike checks on me. I have a couple of brothers who are, who are familiar with me. They, they uh, Leo, uh, Ron. They, they they reach out to me all the time, and we 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 you know we keep up pretty close. So. Um, yeah, even if I'm not here, if, even if I'm not here physically, I'm always with you guys. <laughs> so I appreciate you. I appreciate the love. Thank you. And we appreciate you. Thank you so much. You are on the right path. I have no doubt about that.